Hello everyone, today I'm going to share with you guys a no-fold drawer organization idea for children. And I got this idea from Victoria's Secret the other day when I was shopping and I saw that they had everything in little baskets without folding things inside by size. Um, and I went ahead and I brought this idea home because I have three kids under the age of six and I was a slave to folding clothes and keeping their drawers organized. Whenever I folded laundry, it took forever and I needed to find a way to save myself time and to simplify and also help the children become self-sufficient and independent. Um, so this method works so great and I wanted to share with you guys. I'm so excited to share. Um, so I have these two drawers that I got from Walmart and um, I went ahead and I decorated them by putting some gift wrap paper on the inside of these. Um, I went ahead and I laminated the gift wrap paper to make it more durable, but you don't have to do that. Um, I will link below the laminator that I have because it's wonderful and I use it for so many things. Um, so then I went ahead and I labeled everything with little pictures. Um, and I'll link this printable below so that if you are doing the same, you can print these out for free. Um, so socks, undies, pajamas, tights, backpacks, bags, and the same concept over here. Um, I always keep some type of put away drawer or put away baskets for the kids. So whenever they're getting dressed really quick or something and they can't put something away, I tell them, please put the things in the put away baskets or in the put away drawers and it keeps the room clean. Okay. Cause there are some things that they cannot reach like their clothes up here. So if they can't and they take something away and it doesn't belong down here, they can just put it in their put away basket. And I'll get to that, um, at the end of the day. So let's go over this. So what I love about this is that I got these little baskets that go inside at the dollar store and they fit perfectly in here. And I just basically just throw things in here, no fold. These are undies, just throw them in there. The kids can easily put them away. Here I have some socks. This is about the only thing that I have to fold or like put together the little socks and then put them in there. Um, pajamas and tights. So pajamas in here, they don't have to be folded. They don't, it doesn't matter if they're wrinkled. These are tights. And this is down here, backpacks and bags. Um, so everything that is in these drawers, it doesn't matter if, it's, if it gets wrinkled because these are day-to-day -day things that they can wear. Here we have onesies for the baby. This is the baby's drawer, the one-year-old's. We have her socks and her stockings. Here we have tights and pajamas. So her tights and her pajamas. And down here we have her cloth diapers. These are some of the cloth diapers that I have made for her. And um, these are actually the pull-ups. And these all go down here. Okay, so moving on to my five-year-old side. Let's switch the door over here. Okay, so here are her drawers. And I went ahead and instead of using the gift wrap paper, I used some colored paper, laminated. I had her draw some of them and color them in so it can be more personal for her. So this top drawer is hair care. And this is for actually for all of them. Here we have some hair bands and some hair clips, some little jewelry, and my favorite comb for doing the girl's hair. I love it. I've been having it for so long, and it really saves a lot of tears. I'll link that below if you guys are interested. Uh, going on to the next drawer, pajamas and tights. Um, again, pajamas, just throw them in there, some tights. And down here we have socks and undies. Again, same concept, just throw them in there. Doesn't matter if they get wrinkled or if they're messy and socks and stockings. Okay, moving on to the next organizational system here. Um, I've shown this before. This one stayed the same. I used my label maker for this. This is body care. So different items like thermometers, creams, different things in there. Bathing suits. Again, no fold, just throw them in there. <laughs> Uh, dancing clothes, just some skirts that they love playing around with and dancing or that they use for when they have ballet. Hats, scarves, and gloves right in there. All their hats, scarves, and gloves. And this is for all three. Okay, and the last one here is the put away drawer. And I tell my five year old if there's anything that you cannot put away right away, you're in a rush, um, whether it's a toy, whether it's a shirt. Um, please put it in the put away drawer and we'll get to it at the end of the day. Um, this has saved so much mess before my kids would be in a rush, we're going on somewhere or whatever it is, and we would have clothes like on the floor in the bedroom or in the hallway, um, just things that they just couldn't put away right away. Um, now we have the put away drawer and the put away baskets, and this has saved so much mess because now everything is in this put away drawer and is not on the floor. And at the end of the day, we put everything where it belongs. Um, my girl, my other girls have the put away baskets, the same concept here. And our laundry is kept in the hallway. Um, I'll share with you guys our laundry routine soon. 
So everything else that is not in these drawers is kept up here, hung up. Um, everything is hung up in hangers. I love it because there's no more folding. I will share with you guys my entire closet tour in the next video so that you guys can see. I wanted to make it separate because I really wanted to focus on the drawer organization today. Um, so I hope you guys got some good ideas on how to create a no fold organization for your children. It's wonderful. My kids know how to put things away. Um, they know where things belong. They just put them in their little baskets where they belong. Everything is organized in their room. There's no mess on the floor. Um, whenever we do laundry, they help me put all of the things here in these drawers away because they could just throw them in there. They don't have to know how to fold. Um, so this is a wonderful technique if you have young children who don't know how to fold their own clothes um, and who constantly are going through the drawers. I used to go and, and put their things so neatly, like in little packages, like I do mine. And what happens was that Two days later, it was a disaster. Like all my work down the drain. So this no fold technique is wonderful. I love it. Um, I don't have to fold clothes anymore for the kids. It is a wonderful idea. I hope you guys liked it. I will give you. I'll be giving you a tour in the next video of their entire closet, so you can get an idea on how I organize everything and how this system puts everything together. Um, for more videos like this, please don't forget to subscribe so you can get notifications. Um, thanks for watching. Bye bye.